Hi everyone, this is Frizelma and I'm teaching parents. Glad to have you. Um, we are doing a series called Eye of the Parent because the eye of the parent needs to monitor their children at all times possible. So we are on the, the very first part of the series dealing with things we need to do at home. We've talked about having routines at home. We've talked about all of the tech devices and how to manage those at home. We've talked about supervision and how we have to tighten up on monitoring our children at home and wherever we give them permission to go, whether we are there with them or not. So the last part of this at this time is going to be about chores. Now, I know that some parents don't give their children any chores. I've worked with parents and I have facilitated workshops for about 29 years. I've dealt with single parents and married parents, divorced parents, grandparents, uh, foster parents. I I've dealt with many other guardians as well. Some parents, guardians, don't believe their children should have any chores at home. Some of them think the only thing their children need to do is do their homework and that's it. They can play the rest of the evening, watch whatever, um, hang out with their friends, they're done. As long as their homework is done. However, we're going to talk about chores because one of the videos we talked about having an at-the-table meeting to help everyone in the family understand everybody is responsible, everybody is important, everybody in the family has a part, um, and it takes everybody working together in the family to help the household run smoothly. So chores, they have their place as well. Chores actually give you an opportunity to teach your child um, character traits. The chores help teach responsibility, accountability, taking pride in what you've done when you've done your best, to always do your best and not just throw something together quickly for the sake of saying, I did it. So chores help our children because we are actually teaching our children to be adults. So when they become adults, they need to already know the simple things like running the household, how to pay bills, how to handle different things that happen around the house, how to just manage things at home, how to manage a budget with their money, um, how to create a grocery list, how to go and purchase groceries. We should have taught them all of those things while we're raising them because the whole point is to teach them how to be good, responsible, decent adults. To me, it's very sad for a teenager or a 20-year-old old to say, I don't know how to do anything. My, my parents never taught me how to do anything. I don't know how to wash my clothes. I don't know how to cook anything. I know how to just warm up something in the microwave, but I've never cooked a meal. That To me, that's very sad. As parents, we are responsible for preparing our children for the future so that they are prepared as adults. 
when they go out into the world. And then they can teach their children as well. So chores have a place in our homes. Different chores for different people, different ages, different abilities, diff uh, you know, different strengths. But it's up to us parents to have chores for our children. In that as well, once chores are assigned, parents have to teach their children how to do the chores so that the children can do those chores in a way that satisfies the parent. And the parent will supervise, will monitor those children as they complete their chores. That should be a part of every day. Every day as, as an adult, uh, you have to learn how to, to do some type of work, regardless to if you have an online business or if you go to a job or whatever the case may be, you still have to learn how to consistently put in time at work. That's what chores teach your child. They're teaching your child, you have a responsibility here in our home. And we expect for you to complete your assignment and to do it well, to complete it on time. It teaches them to, to work in a timely manner. So that's another good uh, skill for them to know. Um, so, and, and sometimes one child, child will finish a chore and will actually assist another child. It teaches teamwork also. So please don't leave out chores. Include that into the everyday routines for your children. They, of course, will do more chores on weekends, but be sure to include chores into your routine, your schedule, your, your daily or weekly schedule, because they play an important role in raising our children to be adults. We're not raising them to be children. They already are. And we didn't have to teach them how to be children. They came here knowing how to be children. Our job is to teach them how to be adults. So let's prepare them using chores to prepare them for all the different things they're going to need to know and juggle and be able to do decently when they are adults out in the world. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Please click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, share these videos with anyone that you know who is raising a child or children. Just share the videos. Hopefully, something that's being said will help a parent be the best parent they can possibly be. Our goal is um, we're changing the world and we're starting at your house. I am Frizelma. I am teaching parents. I am only doing what God has called me to do. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.